See, this is the main contentious point we have. We have a serious shortage of undergraduation seats and a post-graduation seats. Let's look at that is the reason why all the corruption happens, all the scandals in medical education, why it happens? Because there are very few seats. If 10 lakh people apply, if there are only 60,000 seats, naturally there will be a lot of money changing hands. Now, first thing is how a medical college is built. It costs 400 crore rupees to build a medical college. If you go to Caribbean region, there are 35 medical colleges which are working in, which are training doctors for US, which is in a rented 50,000 square foot in a shopping mall, training fantastic doctors for US. Why are you spending 400 crore rupees and creating this edifice? It is ridiculous. All over the world, medical colleges do not have this rigid requirement. Medical colleges don't require 140 faculty members to train 100 students. 140 faculty members can run a medical college with 1,000 students. So, when the whole world has changed, we haven't changed. So, today what we have done, we have made medical education as an elitist affair. Poor children, from, when I was a young medical student, my classmates were all children from poor families. Today, children from poor families are not dreaming of becoming doctors. This will have a tremendous consequences. Outstanding doctors across the world with magic in their finger, most of them come from deprived background. Because these are the kids with the fire in the belly to work for 24 hours to change the rules of the game. If children from rich families become doctors, they, they opt for radiology, dermatology and other specialties where they can go home at 5 o'clock. Why should postgraduate education be costing so much? Why should you pay 2 crore or 5 crore rupees or even 10 lakh rupees fees to become a specialist? All over the world, higher medical education is free of cost. So essentially, the problem is, all the problems we are happening, what's happening in the healthcare is not because of the government. It is because the privileged society doesn't ask the right question. Why every 12 minutes a pregnant lady should die during childbirth, why 1.2, why 3 lakh children die the day they are born, why 1.2 million children die before celebrating the first birthday, it is unacceptable. Why? Because we are not asking the right questions. Statistically, if these pregnant ladies had a very good antenatal checkup, 14 to 15 percent of them need cesarean section. That means we need to do 5.6 million cesareans, 5.2 million cesarean sections per year. To do that, we need 2 lakh gynecologists. We have 50,000 gynecologists, less than 50,000. Half of them don't practice obstetrics because they don't want to be woken up at night. And all of them live in cities and 60% of children are born in rural India. We need 2 lakh anesthetists. We have less than 50,000 anesthetists. We need 2 lakh pediatricians to take care of all the kids coming. We have less than 50,000 pediatricians. We need at least one and a half lakh radiologists. We have less than 10,500 radiologists. Then how do you expect the mental mortality to come down? It has nothing to do with money. This country doesn't require additional budgetary allocation. This country requires liberating medical, nursing and paramedical education.